Willie Gillis Cat's Cradle, this is much more typically Rockwellian. Again, 1943, you have figures that are silhouetted against the background, even though this is the revised masthead style for the Saturday Evening Post. Willie Gillis is one of folks' favorite characters developed by Rockwell for the Saturday Evening Post covers. Willie Gillis was based on a young man that Rockwell met at a square dance in Arlington, Vermont. His name was Robert Buck. And Rockwell was trying to find an everyman figure to model for him and represent the young men going off into war. So Willie Gillis appears in 11 different Saturday Evening Post covers. And were you here with me in the galleries today, I'd send you off to go look for all the Willie Gillises in our amazing, spectacular array of all of the Saturday Evening Post covers made by Rockwell and find all of the Willie Gillises there. We have all 11 of them up among the 322 on display. But Willie Gillis appears in 11 different covers, and again, he just represents the young man who goes off to war and ends up maturing through the course of the war. In fact, we see him early on in 1941. Actually, November of 1941, the month before the bombing of Pearl Harbor. So all leading up to American entrance into the war, and then we see him for the last time in a cover, Return from War, in 1946. In Cat's Cradle, we see Willie Gillis still as a young man, but here he is trying to snake charm a snake charmer. A snake charmer in this case is someone who tries to mesmerize unwitting tourists. And in this case here, Willie Gillis is playing a great childhood game of Cat's Cradle and he's stunning the snake charmer. It's meant to be just kind of witty, humorous in a traditionally American way. What I'm amazed about in this painting, as well as in the other painting beside me here, is the amount of detail that Rockwell puts into the work. When you look at Cat's Cradle in particular, the different textures of all the objects and materials and even the skin in the painting show you what a massively skilled, fine artist Rockwell was. From the texture of the pot in which we have a snake emerging, and then the texture of the snake's skin, to the texture of the skin of the snake charmer, to the woven headpiece that the snake charmer is wearing, to the khaki material that Willie Gills is wearing, to the faux wood on the rifle below him. Everything looks photorealistic. And this is really important because, again, in place of a photograph, we have a photograph of a painting forming the cover for the Saturday Evening Post.